Here's my review of the Heyday 35 millimeter plastic point and shoot film camera. So we just got back from the States celebrating uh, Thanksgiving with Ali's family. And as any good Canadian, we went into Target and I came across these two plastic kind of point and shoot film cameras in Target, which was pretty surprising, but also pretty cool that a chain as big as Target is carrying film cameras, even though they didn't carry any film. I would think that's good for film and exposing more people to film photography. This camera does not come with film included. That's kind of annoying that you have to go try to find some film. Thankfully, I already had a roll of Portra 400 with me. With this camera in the manual, it said you can either use 200 speed film or 400 speed film. There aren't any other controls on this camera. All you do is you take the picture, you wind it to the next picture, and then you turn the flash either on or off. If you've never used a camera like this, it's actually really easy to use. All you do is pop open this back door here. You have just have to kind of push that up and then set the film. And then you take this part of the film and just pull it across so it covers this whole area. And this camera, usually uh, film cameras have a little take-in slot where you slide it in there, but this one does not. Um, it looks like just the pressure of this back plate is gonna help load the film. And so you just pull it across there, set it there, and then close this back and then you just wind the camera and take a couple of shots until it gets to the one spot. And then once it gets to the one spot, you're ready to take photos. So my favorite photo from this role was the shot of Allie in her brother's Volkswagen. And uh, I think this is a pretty great example of what this camera can do um, or what it can't do. So it's kind of, you know, the focus is kind of like all over the place. There's definitely some kind of weird blurs in the corner, but that also gives you that kind of plastic camera character um, that, that you may be looking for. Uh, so I wouldn't be looking for some amazing uh, clear photos if you're getting a camera like this. I had some issues rewinding the film. So when you get to the end of the rolls and you've taken all 36 photos, and so at that point, you hit this little button on the bottom and then you start rewinding the film. So the film goes all the way back into that little can canister and then you can send that to a lab to get developed. The problem was I was near the end, but this little winder wouldn't move anymore. I couldn't tell if the film was completely wound back or not. Uh, and so I actually took it into my closet and just opened the back to see. And sure enough, there was still film there that hadn't been loaded. So for that, if that happened to a first time film user or I would be very frustrated because it created some light leaks on these images, um, which Looks kind of cool, but not cool if you're not expecting it. My other kind of favorite shot from this role is I think what these cameras do best, and that's just kind of like a selfie. And the last thing is that uh, when you use a camera like this, or you, when you use a thing called a rangefinder, you're not actually seeing what the lens sees. Uh, you're just looking through this little square on the top and the photo is, is taken through this part of the lens. And the difference between those two looks was actually quite significant. Um, when I looked through this, it was a lot kind of tighter than I thought it was, but then when it was developed later, the photo was actually quite wide. Uh, so that was kind of surprising that it was that different. So I think just like all the other myriads of cheap plastic cameras on the market, um, I think this is just like about the same as, as all of them. But if this is your first experience on film and you shoot this thing and you're like, 
I hate film, it's horrible. Uh, I would say maybe look for a little bit of an upgrade. There is a lot of incredible point and shoot cameras out there that are pretty cheap. Uh, maybe a bit more expensive than this, but would also give you a really great film experience um, that this thing wouldn't. So I would say for a cheap plastic camera, you're going to more or less get cheap plastic quality photos.